The biggest fears in track riding that prevent riders from going faster almost always center around the rider in question not having faith in the round sticky hoops fitted to their motorcycle. How far can I lean the bike? How much brakes can I use? How much power is safe when exiting a corner? These are the kinds of questions I get over and over again as riders battle their mental blocks to reach higher speeds on the track. In this video, I want to try and offer a little perspective on how the fastest riders out there tap into the potential of the amazing tires we have on offer today and how you might be in a better position than you realize to start tapping into more of it yourself too. These fears and blocks around tire grip are incredibly common, and they're blocks that every single rider faces to some degree. But I know just telling you that won't make you feel too much better about your inability to get past them, so let's get into it. And for everything I'm about to cover here forward, let's assume we're talking about a rider on a well-maintained bike that's fit for purpose, riding on tires that were designed with track riding in mind. Not necessarily race tires, just a tire that's designed to handle high speed and forces on the track. First then, let's talk about tyre traction during braking. At track day level, the braking zone isn't really an area where riders are too concerned with tyre traction, certainly not in their main braking effort anyway. With the bike near vertical, it will be the geometry of the bike that lets you down before front end grip does, where you eventually reach a point of the rear wheel beginning to lift and you cannot brake any harder or you'll end up taking a trip over the handlebars. That is of course assuming your technique is in a good place. To allow the front tire to best do its job in this phase, it's about how you initially apply the lever so that you have the weight transferring to the front in a controlled way. This means a quick but smooth application of the front brake from no brakes to initial brakes, which transfers some of the weight to the front more smoothly, loading the tire correctly before building up to your full braking effort. Do this, and if your braking system is good enough, the front tire will cope with as much braking force as you can apply until the rear wheel begins to lift. What about tire traction through corner entry and mid corner? This is probably where riders come up against the biggest and toughest mental blocks to break, because it's at this point that your fears around lean angle come into play. You're required to trust the front tire to lean the bike, hoping that it keeps doing its job of turning the bike rather than giving up and sending you into the kitty litter. And this is a tough mental block to overcome, because most riders know that losing the front end pretty much means game over with the very little opportunity you have to save it. Sorry to say, but you're not Mark Marquez. But here's the thing. As I just alluded to, one of the primary jobs of the front tyre is to turn the bike and keep it travelling in an arc. And it's perfectly capable of doing that job at high lean angles while remaining firmly stuck to the ground. Like I spoke about in my video on breaking lean angle barriers, lean angle itself isn't really the enemy to traction. It's what the rider is doing with the other controls at the time that creates issues. As long as you're not pushing the front too much on the brakes going in, remaining relaxed as possible on the bars, and being smooth with the throttle when you begin feeding in the power when the bike is correctly pointed, your tires will be perfectly happy and they'll do their job. Okay, so what about tire traction at corner exit? In my experience, for most riders, corner exits will be the place where they start to find the limits of traction first as they get more experience, particularly on today's high-powered, electronically loaded machines. Even on smaller bikes, however, corner exits just always seem to be the place where riders are more willing to test the limits, most likely because the notion of losing rear traction isn't quite as scary as the front, especially if riders are correctly getting the bike up off the side of the tyre before testing those limits. And that's where problems often come for less experienced riders, trying to do too much with the throttle too soon. This could be getting back to the throttle too soon before the bike is pointed, sending them wide, leaving them in a situation where they're at high lean angle right when they want to be driving out of the corner. Or maybe their throttle timing is good and it's a simple over eagerness to drive out of the corner before getting the bike up off the side of the tyre. However, if your exit line is good, which is largely born from your corner entry approach and throttle timing, and you're picking the bike up as you smoothly increase the power application, you're not likely to come into too much trouble, if any. And if you do manage to brake traction in that moment, with the bike standing up, your slide isn't likely to get out of control because you're picking the bike up into the slide. So how do you trust the tires and raise your level? Technique and experience. 
I hope you can see a common trend forming around all these areas. The tyres can be trusted so long as your technique is there. You know the ceiling on performance rubber is likely much higher than you're currently using, but just knowing that can only do so much for your confidence. For some, it does nothing at all. Really, it comes down to having confidence in what you're doing, because if you're doing the right things out there, then you're giving the tyres the best platform to work as intended. And this is why I don't particularly like the advice that you just need to grow a pair to go faster. Now, there is some truth to that after a point, because good technique alone isn't enough to make you brake later, lean farther, or drive harder. Eventually, you have to step into the unknown. But giving that advice on its own without considering what the rider is actually doing out there is what's going to create problems. But once that fundamental base is there and you're giving a bike what it wants, from that point forward it's really just a case of getting more experience of incrementally moving past your previous limits that's going to build true confidence to tap into more of the tyre's potential. Has trusting the tyres been a problem you've struggled to overcome? And if you did overcome it, how did you manage it? Tell us about it in the comments down below. And as always, if you like this video, then please hit the button and subscribe to the channel for more performance writing advice and guides moving forward. Take care.